You know, we're told since we're little bitty ones, yeah. brush your teeth every day, two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night. Well, it turns out it's more to just keeping them nice and shiny and yeah, white. Make sure you floss too, because oh, that's the yeah. big part of it too. <laughs> and then if you don't, then you're looking down later on in your adulthood and you're having some issues. Yeah, well, your oral health really could have a major impact on your ticker. We're talking heart problems. Studies show poor oral health is linked to an increased risk of heart disease. Dr. June uh, Sadowski, dentist with the UT Health Houston School of Dentistry joins us here this morning explaining the link between your heart and your mouth. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. Hello there. So you may not... You? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just said, how are you? We are great. We're good to see you this morning, too. So let's, let's, I have a, a, a question because I never really knew this. How does your, your oral health impact your heart health? Well, because the bacteria that live in your mouth, and particularly the ones between your teeth, which are anaerobic, meaning they don't need oxygen, and you have to stir them up because they're the ones that cause inflammation. Inflammation in the body is what causes heart disease. That's the, what the research says. So plaque, the gums try to suck off that plaque and try to take it away, but it can't so regularly Cleaning, flossing is what we need to do to uh, avoid the risk of cardiovascular problems. What are some things that we're doing wrong that could really impact, negatively impact our overall health? Thinking that we don't need to go to the dentist, I would say. <laughs> uh, it's very important to go to find out if you have any problems. And actually having your teeth cleaned is the most cost-effective way to prevent future problems because they find them and they can take care of them when they're small mm -hmm. and getting your teeth clean uh, you can start and and if you know how to clean and the hygienist is more than willing to help you learn how to clean your teeth and you can keep them clean and you'll never have to worry because it's completely curable with good oral care. So, I mean, you could be having oral issues or you could be having heart issues mm -hmm. separately. How do you know when one is impacting the other or one is impacted by the other? Well, you, I think that that is a hard question to answer because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. But the longer you have that inflammatory process going on in your body, the, the greater the risk that your heart is involved. And, you know, high high blood pressure, hypertension, we call it, is one of the symptoms of something going on that is not good with your heart because your heart pumps the blood. And we know that more people with uh, periodontal disease have heart disease. So long-standing periodontal disease we know can lead to heart disease. Yeah. If you are diagnosed with heart disease and, and it is tied to your oral hygiene, is there anything that you can do to reverse that heart disease if you start taking better care of your teeth, if you start going to your dentist? Is it going to make your heart better even though it's already perhaps been damaged? Yes, because the, the heart doctor is going to be taking care and giving you medication to help control all of the rest of the problems. And if you keep the inflammatory process down, meaning you remove the inf inf infl inflammatory things in your mouth, the bleeding gums, if you don't have bleeding gums, if you take care of the inner, inner, inner proximal part of your teeth, it will it will certainly impact your heart health. Yeah, what impacts the other? You got to make sure both mm -hmm. are healthy. Doctor, it's always good to see you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.